The rest of the pictures were out of focus. Oh, and by the way, I don't think she noticed, but she dropped this as I was taking the last picture. I thought you said you were a private investigator. Well, I investigated her, didn't I? Yeah, but it's sort of hard to be discreet with a person's fist in your face. Okay, okay, so this is my first time doing this, but do you want the pictures or not? That explains your cheap rates. Hey, I'm affordable. And next time, why don't you just go and take the pictures yourself? I mean, she's your girlfriend. I would take them, but she's not my girlfriend. What? So you mean all this time I've been stalking and taking pictures of a girl I don't even know like a total creeper? Her name's Grace. I've been spreading word at work that she and I have been seeing each other for the past five months and is pretty serious. Our actual relationship lasted three days. I'd mentioned to the boss that I was going to take her on a romantic picnic in the park this weekend. And that's why I need this to sell it. That doesn't make any sense. It does if your boss is an old-fashioned coot who believes in holding a stable relationship as the sign of a successful employee. And I've had a promotion coming to me for a long time. Isn't that a little fake? What's wrong with being fake, as long as you're authentic at it? You don't see me printing pictures of supermodels and framing them at work, do you? What if he asked you to bring her to an office party? <laughs> he wouldn't do that. I expect you and this lovely lady to be at next week's office party. Connor McCoy. Hello, Grace. I've regretted every minute we've been apart. This flower is a symbol of our undying love. Is that why it's wax? I see you're still getting your foot stuck in places it doesn't belong. What do you want, Connor? A friend of mine found that in the park. He wouldn't happen to own a camera, would he? I thought vampires had to be invited inside in order to enter homes. A vampire couldn't see just how good looking he is. Still doesn't make you any less parasitic. Symbiotic, Grace. I prefer to think of our relationship as symbiotic because we need each other. Nothing has made that more clear than the last five months we've been apart. Face it, Connor. It's over. It's been over. Our relationship was so toxic, I've had to start seeing an oncologist to make sure I didn't get radiation from exposure to you. Now, Gracie, our relationship... is dead. It's only in a coma. Look, I need you to pretend you're my girlfriend during a company party. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. I need you to pretend you're my girlfriend so I can pretend to propose to you in front of my boss so he can give me a promotion. Well, if that's what you wanted me to do, why didn't you just ask me in the first place? I don't know. Do you even have a ring? Hmm. I'm surprised it's not plastic. Your mother's. She hasn't even missed it. All right, but I never want to see you again. Perfect. So we can see each other every day for the rest of our lives. Because you're the most genuine and honest person I know. Oh, but I know what you're thinking. What about our financial security? I know I'm just living off the lowly wage of an assistant supervisor to a small, but up and coming, marketing agency. And I know you want to be a freelance writer. Oh, bless your heart. But true love will find a way to survive, even if we have to eat noodles the rest of our lives. Gracie, will you marry me? I'm awfully flattered, but I'm already engaged to Dr. Christopher Didwell. Just graduated. In what? Oncology. Mr. McCoy, I want you to use a dictionary so you can explain to me what that word means. After that, look up the word fire.